Hi guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, first video for the year um, is about my Kraken build that I've been talking about. And I actually did it, spoke about it in the last video that I posted. Uh, the cut, this, this is, um, I think, the TSK or the um, Class 1, whatever it is, TSKB, whatever, whatever Kraken case. Um, now, I did post a video a little while ago where I started to uh, do a paint job. Um, and I think I had a, a photo there with the, with the new panels fitted up. And uh, what it ended up being, now, this is what it would have looked like. So, what we got here. So that's probably what it would have been like had I decided to keep going with my um, original plan. So that would have went on the side there. And there's other bits to go here and on the top and on the front. But what happened was, I saw a sand rail um, and it had a very similar style cage with a little bobtail sort of thing on the back and, and a different color scheme. Um, I won't sort of let that, out, that cat out of the bag just yet because what we'll do, since this is the first video for the year, this is what we're tackling. We're gonna assemble this bad boy. Now, like I said in my last video, 95% of the parts that I've, that I've, that I've acquired uh, and ordered for this machine is brand new bits. Little bit of stuff like the wheels and tires that um, I'm reusing from stuff I've already had. Um, only because, like I said, I saw the sand rail and it looked pretty, pretty cool. So I've decided to go with that type of paint scheme, hence why you'll see as we go through why I decided to go with this wheels and blah 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 whatever else I've got all right so what do you reckon maybe let's just get straight into this thing let's kick the build off I don't know how long, how many episodes this is going to take but maybe a couple I don't want to muck around too much I just want to get this bad boy together and get it running what do you reckon let's get into it okay here we go guys let's get into it but first let's have a look at the bits we've got that's going to go into this machine so like I said, there's still some pieces that I don't have here at the minute, which are down the shed. So uh, we'll go through these ones anyway. A lot of the stuff here is is mostly new stuff. The rest of the stuff is down the, is down in my shed. So let's have a look. Let's go over it. So what we've got, obviously here, new chassis, Baja chassis, and motor plate or engine plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously I've got a brand new, here we go, a brand new tank. Now these IRC shocks, these bad boys, the 10 mil shaft. All right, I put a pair of these on the back of me hybrid. So, I mean, that gives you a bit of an idea on what they look like. So I've got two of them for the back and just got some normal um, eight mil shaft fronts. They're just normal roving ones for the front, but they're eight mil shaft. So beefy enough for the front end anyways. Uh, then we've got uh, the new, br new brake discs with the fan and the new nut to go, to go on the bloody diff. Uh, now, hinge pins, full set of hinge pins and the braces. So they're all there, uh, the rear, Rear, strut, uh, rear shock tower brace. There's a uh, nine mil dog bones. Uh, this is the other, oh look, alloy engine plate. Um, the chassis braces. So this is obviously the one, the one for each side is in here, plus the one that goes around the back of the tank. Front top plate. Uh, I'll, I'll walk around the back there in a minute, guys. So we've got rear top plate whole set there with your brake plate and all the rest of it and your, your hardware um, upper rear arms and there's your, your lower rears uh, two rear uprights your braces which which actually bolt in, up into this sucker and we'll go around the back here and to go with that we have these these two here them two now they go up into here, your brace. From there down, 
to your back plate, which you know, which is above your diff any, anyway. So, um, so then we got the rear carriers, rear hub carriers. With your hardware, actually, they, they also come with with hinge pins in them, which um, which is handy. Lots well, of spares. So those fully fully bear, new bearings ready to rock and roll. Um, kill switch. I think it's one of those. Not too sure the brand name. I think it's one of them dynamite ones. So uh, kill switch, and these are the tires I'm going to run, guys. I have run these before on something, so to complete the look, like I said earlier. Uh, running running these obviously the cage you've seen that now this here what I've got here is this FLM complete front end the only thing I don't have is the alloy carriers but I may get those down the road but for, for now and only because I was had to run these um, front hubs to suit these wheels because they are a slight size difference to, to the normal Baja they're slightly smaller so you know hence why I'm running these but that's all good it'll all work together great and these are the extended arms Baja, it's, it's a whole Baja front end so uh, it's all new the whereas the, these are the extended arms and these rears are the stock length uh, rear arms so the idea is because I'm going to run these these fat tires by the time it's all said and done when it's, when it's together and assembled with the, with, with the wheels and everything on these, these things stick out a fair way. So by running the skinny wheels on the front with the, the wider front end should give the front end a bit more stability. Because like I've had running this setup once before, it's a little bit uneven. So, but what it should end up looking like is by the time you get your front wheels onto here, they should be the same width as the outside of the rears at the end of the day. So hopefully that works. But anyway, so, this is all FL, FLM, except for obviously your, your, your plate here and your, and your two hub carriers. The rest of it is, and I think these, I don't know if they're FLM, but they're standard Baja rear. Ah, sorry, front. Um, but it looks, it's, it looks like it's all Baja stuff. As for this, I'm not 100% sure, but the rest is all FLM. Anyway, so moving on. <clears throat> Outside of that, like I said, kill switch. Now let's go back around the front here. Um, the diff, now I don't have an alloy case for this. I would have loved to have put an alloy diff housing on the back so as it ties in with all the rest of the stuff. Couldn't get one, so I will be getting one down the road in the future so I can make it all match and make it all look. But I want to get this thing together and get it, start playing with it actually. Um, sim steer set up. Uh, which will hook up all the stuffs under there will hook up to the front this here now I wanted to run I'm not gonna run a velocity stack I'm gonna run a, a, a normal air footer because this this is gonna be doing a lot of bashing so it's gonna be dusty so I'm gonna have a two-stage air footer on this but these these here on the front most of you guys probably would have seen these the way they're set up causes the air filter to kick up a little bit so it's off the tank so um, I'm gonna run that with your normal Baja two-stage air filter. Um, excuse me. Also, I'm gonna put a new alloy clutch carrier on. We've got the bell here somewhere. And the gears. So this is going to be uh, 1757. So because because of the diameter of them, them bad boys, I'm gonna run the stock gears with it first up and see how we go. Also, uh, a couple of rear, I'd say I don't have these in alloy either, so I can't really put them. But I'm gonna run, obviously you guys know what these are. These are your, your rear, uh, rear bulkhead, uh, goes around your diff and all that sort of stuff. So that, uh, two of those going in uh, for now. There's the rear hoop in this bag, but in this bag also has the, the tank pin set, if you know what I mean holding your fuel tank in and all that sort of good stuff. Plus it comes with another little front skid plate, which we may need actually anyway. So that'll come in handy. That aside, right. So the other thing is what we have, uh, I'm going to run the Fly Sky GT3B. So third channel could be because I'm gonna run the kill switch in this sucker. So that's what we're gonna put 
for radio gear. Now, the last piece, well, last but not least piece, not really the last piece either, guys. We got a, we got a package here, I've already opened it. Um, new engine. So, I opted to go with another engine that I've already got. It's a small bore, so we're not going stupid. It's a, it's a new small bore, good for bashing. Um, so we've got, here's the carby and air for the plate which i think is it oh it's one of the, it's the same as i got sitting on the table anyway so that aside <clears throat> oh look it's shiny all right well, let's get let's get it out guys and have a look let's see if you recognize what it is it's only it's just a like i said it's a small ball i had good results with the last one so I've got another one, just because this is going to be a, an actual basher. It's not a show pony or nothing. Um, let's get it out of the bag. Where's the opening in this sucker? Must be over here. Oops, sorry guys. All right, here we go. Okay, so, if you hadn't already guessed, this is a Raven 36, okay? So, 36cc. Now I had um, good results with the last one that I had in um, previous times, which is now running in one, my 5B actually, uh, which I got more to show with, with regards to that engine later. But anyway, so here we go. New donk, new engine. But uh, anyway, guys, so that's, that's all the parts. But um, there are some other there are some other bits, but I think now we've got all this all this out ready to go. Let's crack on. Let's get into this and start assembling this bad boy. All right. So I was thinking maybe I start with the rear end first. Then we're going to put it on the chassis and you know work our way through. So we've got all the bits we need for the you know. Loctite as well for all these metal to metal bits um, and all the bits we need to start for the back end. So, actually, what we might do instead of making this long drawn out, I'll do some video of putting stuff together, short video clips, some photos. We'll work our way through this build and um, so we can just get this thing done. Um, Instead of being drawn out, get it done, get it together, and get it ripping. All right, let's get started. We'll start right here. And just another thing, guys. Just for bits you're not 100% sure on, it's good to have the manual. I mean, I got this with my last, uh, I think this was just come with the Kraken, my sidewinder buggy, but they're all based off the Baja 5B. So, I mean, it's got all kinds of uh, exploded, actually, in the back here, exploded views, which, you know, you got, a lot of you guys would have seen this already. All the part numbers listed, you know, exploded views, and all kinds of good stuff there that may help you along the way if you get stuck on anything. Or if you're unsure on the size uh, bolts, nuts, versus all, you know, the lengths and so and diameters and all that sort of stuff for your hardware or your spare parts. So very handy when you're doing a complete build like this. So you can get this online, you can download this online. I've done it before with another with one of my other five T's, but at the end of the day, if you can get your hands on the Baja instruction manual just like this, whether it's online or from a previous previous car you've had, the all the Bajas, the basic chassis and, and components are all exactly the same. But anyway, good reference material in case you get stuck.
guys, here we go. Next up, chassis and all uh, well, the front end. So let's get into it. Let's get this together. guys here we go first start so that's the real card I need juice all right let's go okay we got fuel going in let's choke it let's see what we've got going on there right? hold on there we go. Alright. Give it a bit of juice. cycles then we can start driving this thing but the other thing is I've been thinking this pipe I had, I had to put a heat wrap on it um, because of where it's sitting it's a side pipe uh, it's, it's an odd fit um, plus it's got a bit of a bad leak back here and I can't get seals for it anymore I thought I might have been able to you know put a bit of uh, silicon tube over and you know, clamp it on but it's, still, it's, it's just got a hole in it now so I think what I'm going to do 
I'm going to go with this bad boy. This is the one that I had on my sidewinder when I had the other 36. Um, I do like the sound. So I think what we might do is the next time you see it run, I'd say we're going to run with that one. And um, i just got to check the fitment in here. I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, so that's it. You need to stay tuned for part two because that's when we get the visual part of the finish. So, body panels and the wheels. So, um, until next time, guys, it's like what I tell you all the time. Go out and have a play. Take your machines, make some time, get out in the outdoors and have some fun. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.